What's going on, you guys? I hope all is well. You guys know if you guys watch my channel that I often recommend and promote, and I always pretty much link my Undersun Fitness Bands uh, down below. I still have that promo code down below if you guys are interested in uh, like saving 10%. That's there if you guys want to support the channel. However, I do have, a, I would say, an objective winner and some other new comments just comparing the orange bands to the elite camo bands. I'll also just give some general feedback on both band quality or maybe more so the orange bands because I've had those for about close to six months and the elite uh, camo ones, I've had those for only about a one month and I already have some kind of things to say about it or maybe almost two months with those. Uh, so that's what I'll get into. I will uh, i don't think I'll put timestamps. Maybe I will. It's a short video, but uh, if, as always, if you guys like this content, please like and or subscribe. And I mentioned this in the first video, if you guys go on Amazon, Amazon versus their Undersun Fitness website. It's a little confusing because the the uh, if you go on Amazon.com, there was the Undersun bands are just called like camo. That's like the color name, but they're still a little more expensive. Versus Undersun Fitness, they're called the U.S. Elite Resistance Band set, and they you know they're going up for a little bit more than you know eighty three dollars. And uh, you know if, if you kind of look at that, to me, I know some of the proceeds go to the military and stuff like that. That's what they say, but it's more it's more expensive bands. So I, when I did the review for that initial uh, for this band set initially. I thought they should be a little more durable, and when I finalized that review, I said, really, they, these bands feel really similar um, as far as, I mean, they're good in the sense that they both have this nice, even, you know, smooth tension, which is what I like and why I always recommend these bands. They just have a the durability and the smoothness of the band just feels really good. Uh, I will get into durability and a big negative about one set in a second, but for the most part, I said if it just really just pick the color you like. If you want to spend that extra money on the color, and if some of those proceeds go to the military, that's pretty cool too. Uh, otherwise, I felt I thought they felt pretty similar. But now, after kind of really messing around with, uh, even after this couple workouts you're seeing here, just comparing the two, I would still say that the orange ones are the more superior band. They have a more of object. They have more of a uh, more of a harder resistance. They just feel a little more durable and strong versus the camo ones. I would think they'd be more durable and strong, and that's what I was kind of hoping for. They just feel a little bit more uh, flexible, a little bit kind of loose, just not as taut as the orange ones. And that's considering the orange ones, you know, I've had those for a lot more longer period of time, definitely got more use. And I'm not a huge like resistance bands exclusive guy. I use them definitely from time to time. I'll strap them onto my total gym or my uh, signing bench trainers, and I'll use them here and there. So I'm not exclusively giving them a heavy use, but just to kind of give you guys a quick shot of them up close, I was even debating when you showing this because there's not a whole lot to really show you. Um, the, really, the orange ones, I'll start with those first. Those orange ones, they did fade initially. They're still definitely bright, but they uh, they fade a little bit. Like I washed them in like soap and water one time because I feel like I was sweating all over them. I did that. Once I did that, it definitely kind of feel like it, it lost some of that, its big orange shine. Otherwise, though, you can see some of the lettering has faded a little bit. Again, granted, they're not getting heavy, heavy use, but they definitely have gotten use. Uh, so there's some little, like, scuffling here. Uh, that could be just from friction or rubbing against the side of my squat rack. Uh, not a whole lot of major rips. Um, there was, like, on one of the bands, there's a tiny, tiny rip on the side. But otherwise, that's that's going to be expected. I've said that in the last video. These resistance bands, I don't care what band they are, they're going to eventually kind of break. And that's kind of the reason I, went with, I like Undersun Fitness. They're a U.S.-based company. This is what they specialize in, and they have a lifetime warranty. So if they do break, uh, you can return them. And they, I've heard good feedback about getting a new set of bands or a new set of replacement bands, which leads me to the big con. If you guys noticed on that the camo set, there really wasn't a whole lot there to say with like the, the wear and tear. Not a whole lot's happened with those. But I, that's this is the big negative is that I had one of those bands snap on me just doing some uh, some cable flies with an anchor to the back of my squat stand. Granted, I thought that maybe it was it was rubbing against a screw and I kind of checked it, but really it was a clean break. It looked like someone just cut it with scissors. It just snapped right just right in half. And that's what someone told me in one of the reviews when I did an initial review that the that the band just outright just snapped on him right away after you know fairly quick use. And that's what I found to happen too here. I was really surprised. They didn't get a lot of heavy use and it just seemed like it just gave and just snapped right in half. So that was a big con for me. Granted, it could have been like a lemon version that I had, but uh, it really got me a little more skeptical to try certain things with it. I'll show you one exercise in here that I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't try with these bands. Overall though, they are still fairly comparable. I'll just say the orange ones, I think are the superior build quality, superior band from some of the subtle, subtle things I'm hearing from reviews. The fact that you're paying a little bit more for their camo color, um, I'm not going to say it's a bad band. And like I said, if it does break, and I've definitely been using them, and maybe it, it, it could have been that I rubbed them against the screw. I'm just trying to give you guys some honest feedback that I was just kind of shocked that it, the way it split, just being right in half, I was a little bit surprised. 
uh, with that quality. I haven't contacted their customer service yet. I will do that in the near future, although I've heard you know very good things. And like I said, that's a big reason why I promote uh, this set of bands as well, or anything that has a lifetime warranty. Um, Some has a lifetime warranty. I said that actually in my last video talking about something else that to me, it's like a nice no guilt purchase. So that's something that I always kind of look for when I'm choosing a company. Overall though, I'd say uh, I do abuse these things. Like as you can see in this exercise here, I mean, I shouldn't say abuse them, but I'll strap them onto things for resistance. Uh, you can see this exercise here, I was doing this the other day. I'm like, I probably shouldn't be doing this knowing what happened to the last band because this just hit me right in the face. Uh, so that got me a little more leery. Uh, I'm interested to hear your guys' feedbacks uh, from using both bands. If you guys have one or the other uh, and just the long-term use and durability of the product. I still recommend it and I'll just finalize in saying, like I said, I said this in this video, I'll say it many times, none of these resistance bands are like bulletproof. They're not, you know, some sort of like uh, ultra super technology where like they're never gonna break. They're eventually gonna break. This elastic's gonna wear out. It's gonna stretch. It's not gonna be as taut as it once was. Uh, so choose a reputable brand. Choose a band that you like the tension, the way it feels in your hand, uh, which is why I love these bands. Uh, and I also just like this orange color. I might be in the minority about that. My thin band, I should say, and finally, that this thin band, I've said baby a lot, is one of the favorite things I love about these band sets. They're really small band. Uh, that's This is still going strong, right? but again, I pretty much baby it. That's it, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.